beautiful thing here. Pretty much a full bucket. That. Cannot beat that. Alright. Let's do this. Jimmy's and Sooks. Headed to Palaka. We're out on the East Palaka side. Um, I got a couple traps right around the bridge. Um, it's kind of like a sandbar, and I put one trap there and then one trap on the other side of the bridge. So uh, we'll see. I'm just going to come out here trying to catch a little bit for dinner, um, and then I have a couple more that. I'll be checking on tomorrow, but this is about 24 hours later with Shad. Um, hoping that we have some success. It seems like there's lots of crabs in this area, so uh, let's see what happens, and I'll bring you guys along to check it out. All right. This is the view here. There's the bridge going from East Palaka to Palaka, and I'm at my first one. Again, I'm just here trying to get enough for a dinner. So, wish me luck. We baited these up with shad. They've been in the water for about 24 hours. Alright. Let's see, we've got three. Three of them, and they're pretty nice size. crabs but whatever you know there's six of them so that's great I'll take that seems like kind of the shallow water works pretty well over here so anyway all right we'll go ahead and take these home eat them and then I'm gonna come back out and check three more traps tomorrow before we call it a wrap so um, yeah right here by the bridge Caught about six crabs Alright everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's and Sooks. This is Brad, and this is day two on the St. John's River. Um, we are right up here on the East Palaka side of the river, and um, we're going to pull a couple traps that I've had out uh, for two days now. So, we baited those up with shad, and kind of put them around this cove here on the east side of the river, and um, we'll see what we get. So yesterday, I went out and grabbed two traps just trying to see if we had enough to have some food for dinner, and we did. We caught nine. Um, took those home and did a crab boil with, like, Zatarans. It was great. First time I've ever done that. Typically, I just kind of steam them uh, Maryland style and move on. A little Old Bay or J.O. So it was good. Very good. All right, coming up on... One of the traps here. Not really sure the water depth on this one. Could be pretty deep. Again, we're right around Palaka. This is actually East Palaka on the St. John's. Get this fish. 
fish out. That might be enough. A dozen. That might be a dozen. Alright. I mean, that's a great crab pot. The St. John's River's got it going on here. All right. On to the next one. Here on another one. This one's not set very deep. yesterday but reset so it's only been out here for 24 hours that we got four five six they're not the biggest but whatever after 24 hours that's not bad at all all right so this one here we've had on this dock for two days and you know I'm just curious and you know, I always check so I've checked it a couple times now there's definitely crabs in here uh, but this will be the final pull and I've left those crabs in but this has been here for two days and it's got the same shad that is a great crab pot set another one of the traps from yesterday out over here also so we'll go pull that one too but just so that you know just the way the crab trap sits on the ground if you're new if you're new to crabbing this is the way it works so the crab trap sits on the bottom of the river or intercoastal or wherever you're at with the bait well and the funnels on the ground that gives them an easy access point. And then when they spook, they naturally spook up, go into the parlor. So that's the way these are properly set. And you can catch a dinner's worth here in St. John's River, um, just off the dock, which is awesome. So we'll get these put away, and then we'll take you on to the next one. So on this other dock, that's where I had the one that had the uh, nine crabs in it. Uh, this one I've had out for about 24 hours, uh, baited it up with some fresh shad and tossed it out. So let's go ahead and check it out, see what we got, and see how good 24 hours does. St. John's River, East Palaka, Florida, 
Um, we're in this little cove here, so this is the view. And it's worked out really well. I've probably gotten three dozen, three and a half dozen out of five crab pots and add the, the extra nine from the day before. So it's been great, but yeah. Anyway, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, thanks for watching Jimmy's and Sook. Please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to keep doing it because I love it, but, uh, you know, always enjoy the likes and the subscribes. Alrighty, everybody. Have a good one. Now let's go home.